than ever in Samsung stock price. But Berman says don't make too much of this one moment in time. If the next Samsung works, people will probably be willing to give Samsung the benefit of the doubt. Several Chinese companies are now producing phones as well. They're grabbing big market share in China and also making inroads in Europe. Soon they'll be here in the U.S. and the phone wars will have some powerful new forces. Jim Axler at CBS News, New York. All right, one of our own has an extra reason to celebrate tonight. Yeah, we're proud to say WSA 9's Ellen Bryan was the MC for the district's Power 30 Under 30 Awards. The big event held at Longview Gallery in Northwest Washington. The awards honor young professionals who have ex achieved extraordinary success. You can see Ellen Monday through Friday on Wake Up Washington starting bright and early at 425. Could have seen her in George's County Fair last Saturday, too. You guys She's have been everywhere. out and about. Yes, we have. Yeah. Yes. How's this weekend going to be for getting out yeah. and about? It's going to be okay. I mean, I don't want people to freak out because we have yellow weather alerts Sunday afternoon and Monday morning, but you'll be able to do lots of stuff, and soccer games will be played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> sure. Three degree guarantee. We did very well today. Thought we might actually have a um, bullseye. Close. 80 was the uh, forecast, 79 was the actual high. We're 31 of the, ne of the last 32 days, and we're going to go 83 uh, for tomorrow. Live look outside, it's our lead Michael and saw weather cam. It's comfortable, it's really a nice night. Low 70s, hard to see the harvest moon because of the clouds. Dew points in the low 60s, they've come up a little bit. It's still pretty comfortable air. So, yellow weather alert Sunday afternoon and Monday morning. So, don't freak out, it's not all death and destruction here. Warm and pleasant on Saturday, just pesky showers Sunday, but the heaviest activity will be at night and certainly after the game. I mean, we can't rule out a passing shower, tailgating, and maybe a passing shower during the game. Heaviest activity after the game, mainly at night, so keep that in mind. And very warm, we're talking mid 80s uh, on Sunday. All right, 630 in the morning. Temperatures in the 60s, very comfortable despite the cloud cover. Temps make it down to 60 in Gaithersburg, 63 in Bowie and Upper Marlboro. And then by 10 o'clock, we're in the low 70s. A lot of clouds. We know the drill with this easterly flow. You get a lot of clouds around, but not much in terms of showers. In fact, finally, Futurecast took them out. 1 o'clock, 81 uh, downtown, 80 in Fredericksburg, and 81 in Dale City and Woodbridge. And then by 6 37 o'clock, temperatures around 80. Lion's share of showers, such as they will be, not very many of them, but will be out to the west, Cumberland and Romney. And even by evening, uh, temperatures still in the uh, upper 70s, low 80s. Really a nice night tomorrow night. Not as cool. Temps in the uh, 70s, about 24 hours from now, maybe 71 in Gaithersburg and 73 in Silver Spring and about 72 in Fairfax. Not a bad night at all. So it goes like this overnight. Well, first we're going to go all the way to uh, Sunday for 3.30 in the afternoon. Notice we're clear. We have showers south, we have showers west, but around the ballpark we're fine. Pretty toasty though. So from about 10 a.m. to about 4 o'clock, I don't see anything of any magnitude close to the uh, stadium. But by 10.30 we see some showers to the north. And some of those showers will roll through and some of the little rumble of thunder possible uh, late on Sunday night for tonight. No thunder, just uh, some clouds, partly to mostly cloudy, cool again. Low temperatures in the 60s, winds out of the east, uh, southeast uh, at about 10. Saturday morning, mostly cloudy, but still pleasant. 60 to 82, that's not bad. And then by afternoon, mostly cloudy, still pleasant. High temperatures near 85 and winds out of the south at about 10. So you can certainly do anything you want to do tomorrow. Cut the grass, take a bike ride, whatever. 60s is a start, pretty comfortable early on. 77 by 11 o'clock and only 81 by 1 p.m. So yellow weather alert in the afternoon and evening and night for Sunday, 85. Yellow weather alert Sunday mo uh, Monday morning, also 85. Could be a wet commute on your Monday morning. Next seven days. Uh, Tuesday, we're in pretty good shape, actually. Warming up a wee bit, though. Upper 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday. And we thought we'd left them in the dust. Ah, yes, they're coming back. 90 possible on Thursday and Friday. The good news is when it hit, hits 90 this time of year, not that humid. Hmm. So it looks good for the Howard Hampton game tomorrow. Looks fine. All right. And for the Hokies and Virginia Tech, too. Yeah. Hosting really? Boston mm. College. And how about gorgeous tonight? I mean, this is just one of those nights yeah. you dream about sitting up in the stands at the high school football game. Friday night lights. And we actually had some really good matchups in high school tonight. And there was a big one in Maryland. DeMatha at McDonough. 1v1. Who came out on top? Highlights next in sports. We continue to follow some breaking news out of Northeast D.C. The news is here in the morning. There was a pedestrian who was hit overnight. This investigation is far from over.